We're gonna continue working here on our earth bag outdoor shower bottle section. I'm gonna sit over here and peel labels off these bottles right in there. So all the clear bottles we have left over there. I grabbed a few green bottles too that I saw. So then we've been soaking these in rainwater. For bottles now we have this and over here. For today, yes. We're gonna go to four. That's probably okay to be free and then hopefully we'll have enough. What we're planning on doing is using these type of bottles for the middle bit and then all these more fun shapes to go around. That's the yes. plan. Should we get working on today, Ma? Sure. Ready to get some work done? Yeah. We got carpet. It's not in the room right now, but we have it. We're gonna try and get that down today. Yeah, we've never installed carpet before. It's gonna be an adventure, that's for sure. We're gonna put tap strip down first and then we'll start laying carpet pad down and then the carpet on top of that. I don't think it's too complicated, but we'll see. We did two bags instead of one this time. We're in it for the long haul, boys. This would be really cool as a fence. It really would. You know, we talk about doing something around the basins. Like a pony wall or something. A little thing around our front gate to build up. Oh yeah, like an entrance or something with it. I'm gonna go one more on each side of that. Oh, I think that's okay. what we're gonna do. It's the glass wall, the wall glass, the glass of walls, the walls of glass. Okay. Beblumium wall. Beblumium? The wattle. You replace the B with a W, guttle wall, like glass and bottle put together. It's a guttle wall. I know why I was gonna say bottle, because it's a bottle wall. So it's a wattle. It's okay, Luna. <laughs> she's, she's protesting the pun. She just wanted the toy. I was oh. holding it. Well, I'm gonna start in this weird corner, and as you can see here, there's a piece of OBS on top of the floor, but we're putting multiple layers of pad down because all I have is really thin commercial pad. So I'm gonna double stack this side and not double stack this side and that should make up for some of the bump. These don't have arrows, but I'm assuming that like this side goes against the wall because the way the nails are facing. Yeah, and you gotta be able to read blue hawk. Oh, that's what it is. If you can read it, <laughs> it's right. Very good. I mean, that's kind of kidding, but. Thank you. You got it? Okay. Don't you want to just, we're taking them to daddy, okay? Good job. Can I have the clippers? Yeah. Thank Good you. Job. Yay. Ignore this. That never happened. You put the blue hawk backwards? Nope. Never happened. See? Oh, hi. Oh, don't sit on that. Ah, okay. uh, she's got a diaper cushion. She'll be fine. Okay. Nice. Tack strips in. Gosh, you guys almost made it all the way through. Halfway? Halfway there. I'm kind of stuck at the moment. Why? I can't layer more on this because it's gonna collapse. Oh. If I go down this road, there's yeah. not enough ledge for me to lay a bottle. So. I have a trick for the ledges. You can get a handful of it and you go bloop like this. You like shake it in first. Shake okay. it in. And then you hold it there for a couple seconds and eventually it kind of solidifies and you just let go and it just holds it down. Okay, I'll try that. Got another blue bottle I didn't have to paint. Doesn't that look fun? It's a tiny little ledge. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Yeah. That's really yeah. smart. Cleaning the rocks. Genius! Hey, it's kind of a cool bottle, huh? It is. That's what it looks like for right now. Today, a wonderful day. Got quite a lot done. They are over at the end of this building, using up the rest of the cement over there. You guys using up the last of the cement? We are indeed. Mom's just using it up on this wall here, kind of patching it up. Yeah. This was our paper bag exterior, which, I mean, we knew when we were doing it, it wouldn't last, but we still did it because we wanted to have some fun. It's still fun. You got to try different stuff. I, like I tried some of the black tar stuff. I thought we'd try that. It's oh, yeah. kind of been like, we'll just kind of patch it up as it breaks. Yeah, here. And it's also. Awesome. Paper bag. I'm not pulling that off right now, but we'll have to get that all fixed. 
Yeah. It's also become the building that we use up the rest of our cement when we're done with our project. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. We're done for the day, boys. Good. Yeah, you get a good shot of the old floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, now we gotta go dig through our padding tile. This is our new carpet here. Kind of a nice little brown color. This is the padding that I was originally gonna use. And you can see it's thin, it's like quarter of an inch. Whereas this is like traditional padding, but I don't have a lot of it. It's gonna be a bit of a hodgepodge, but it's what we have, so it's what I'm gonna use. Now for the part where we cover up all the nasty floor and we're like, oh. The room's perfect. <laughs> I got some staples, and I'm thinking we just try and staple it down first. Yeah, I think that's working fine. The trick is gonna be on the next layer, I think. No scissors? Yeah, I think that'd be the way to go. Awesome, thank you. Hey! How's it going? <laughs> Here, you're trying to crawl it? Once we get up in this height right here, we're gonna start putting some wood pieces in. You're right, starting there, having something that they could hang a towel on. We were gonna do a bench in there, and if we want a freestanding bench, but if we want something built in, we're gonna need to put some things in the wall. Probably a couple more layers up there before we start worrying about that. Yeah, So either way, it's coming along really quickly. Very pleased with everything so far. What you up to, Ma? These bottles, after they dry just a little bit from the mortar, not much, not all the way, you can see that's still damp. It's kind of nice to come back out. They're a whole lot easier to wipe down now than when they dry. And then that way, if you want to kind of change the look of your mortar line or straighten it out, you can do all of that. Make it look pretty. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you. Boy, look at that straight line you cut there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got the first set of padding on. I'm trying to decide whether to go the same direction or like, you know, switch it up. Uh, so I'll run one pad this way and one stretch this way, just because I think that's going to be the least likely to bunch. Coming your way, kiddo. Easy parts done. Got all the padding in. Are you ready for chaos to ensue? Oh, yeah. Figure it out. There's the color. Big shot sand. <laughs> is that what it's called? <laughs> I think that's what it's called. <laughs> we got the seamer and the iron, so any cuts we make that are way horrible mistakes. <sighs> we can seam and iron and cover with furniture. Probably some pretty good mistakes we can make that the seamer can't fix. <laughs> I had to put our bed like diagonally across the <laughs> middle of the room. Why is that there? Oh yeah, nice. Oh, we like it. It's a style choice. Yeah. Doesn't it look good there? <laughs> oh, well, I'm gonna borrow this pot. I got this crazy idea. Go ahead and put this in the wall. And one moment, please. Wait, cut. We may or may not have forgotten to put these in our shower when we were tiling our shower in the house. So here's the idea. This will sit inside here like this and then fill it with mortar. So we'll have places to put soaps or whatever. I think it's a great idea. I want to just clarify something here. When you say you're going to borrow that pot, you mean you're going to borrow it forever? Forever. <laughs> I'm thinking the shower should go right here. It'd be nice to have one on this side and one on the other side. Well, yeah, because this is a dip. It'll be like one high and then one lower. You know, it's not a bad idea to put a bench there. So, you know, for elderly people too, you know, they can sit down and... <laughs> okay, and... Grandpa, go use that outdoor shower. There's plenty of room for you to take a tumble out there. <laughs> I'm going to do something I wasn't going to do. I had a couple more of these vases. I wasn't going to use them because this here is really thin glass, but this is thick. I think I'm gonna use them because they're kind of this cute little unique shape. We had someone ask, what do you do if one of the glass breaks? These harden, so it's not like they crumble. It doesn't rely on the glass to keep it up. So you're gonna have a hole there, and if you want to dig out more, you can, but it's not like it collapses if, uh, if something goes wrong. You can go back and check Bryson's full version of his build out if you wanna see exactly what we did when we broke a glass. But this, 
is gonna be mortar and yeah. it's gonna be a little different. We'll do it, See what something breaks, we'll figure it out. One thing I know for sure we can do if it breaks inside the mortar, we would just pull that bottle out, the glass pieces as much as we could and then just get a smaller bottle and mortar around it. It'd be just really simple to do. I tossed Bola's toy. Yeah? It got jammed in the tree. Oh! It's like stuck in there. <laughs> Our friends Bill and Kathy stopped by to, to see if they could give us a hand when we were laying the carpet down. It really helped a lot, the extra set of eyes, and Bill is so good at always figuring out not what to do and giving us the confidence to keep moving. <laughs> so we should cut this one out, huh? Well, that one you got to cut kind of in the middle of this wall. It's always fun to have friends over and stuff too when you work in and work together. It's always fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. There was a lot of things I was worried about when installing the carpet. I know Elle had said when we first got the place how she wanted to re-carpet all these rooms and I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. I can't do carpet. But I'm really glad we did because it turned out to be a lot of fun and a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. A lot harder on your body than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but it went really smoothly. We didn't make any horrible mistakes. It turned out amazing. Yeah. I was like, oh, we could do carpet and then I couldn't really help you. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. We figured it out. It was it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Looking forward to hitting our next rooms. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Once your knees heal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Call me crazy. Oh, goodness. I got a couple more ideas. One is an old crock pot. If you notice, it fits perfect in there. Oh. Okay. What do you think? That would work. Okay. So you have a little bit of a handle. Here's another idea. An old sink. That's perfect too. <laughs> really? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, so I was going to use that as a mold for the bathroom sink. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just use this pot. I'm going to use the crock pot then because that's just crock throw pot, How funny is that? It'll work. So, so, shelf. So, so, shelf. The shelf. We'll go take a break, have lunch. We come back. This will be hard enough for us to put our two little indents in. Yep. Yep. Very cool. Looking good. Hardly wait for the rocks and all the rest of the stuff going on there. It's going to be super cool. Yeah. We do have to lay right in the doorway, huh? So we have to step over you. All right. I know, and then you get mad when we step over you, silly boy. What do you do? Just melt it underneath and melt it on. Yeah, half and half. Like. Yep, I just got it. Does the iron go right over the carpet? No, it goes underneath. Oh, that's gonna be hard. To oh, get so it, it comes off like that, and then you go underneath and kind of slide it. Oh, that's good. What is mm. it? It's in the closet, and you'll never be walking there. Not behind the post, yeah. too. Yeah. Last little bit here. All right, that's it. Looks good. We finished up the carpet, huh? Yeah, it looks amazing. You did such a good job. We did good work, darling. Well, you did. I just kind of stood there and held down corners. Hey, that's, it's all a part <laughs> of it. It's the thinking through it that's the hardest part. The one spot that we were kind of worried about seemed turned out okay. This one in first though, because this one scares me. It's heavy. Right there, huh? Perfect. That'll work right there. Find now we're gonna be able to turn the knob today, on it somewhere to adjust the temperature. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the load of crock, right? <laughs> Is that enough? It's always enough. It's never enough. Never, never, Should it go, okay. never. A clear one? Guys, yeah, we just need a middle one. It's made in the USA. You can say our wall's made in the USA. <laughs> It is made in the USA. It is. <laughs> we Perfect. can't show it broken. I don't think it is broken. It actually isn't. I think we just got it and used for a goat water feeder. Should I set the white thing in too? I would do them in two different days. The weight on the inside might topple out. What we ought to do is at least on one side here, do bottles so that it really is in there. Okay, let's do that. We got plenty of mortar to do that. We were able to find. We found another one. We found another one, boys. <laughs> 
She's looking awesome. This whole bottle on the wall. Looking amazing. The bottle's supposed to stay on the wall, Mom. I think it is, too. The bottle's kind of big. Let's try it anyway. For your I'm sorry. Thank you for playing, but I'm going to overrule. There's a hole. Boop. Ah! We got trim, thresholds, and lights left, I think is it. Yeah, then we're ready to move in. That is gonna be awesome. So cool. Me and Adelia are in the shop, and we are going to paint ourselves up some trim. This is gonna do the baseboard trim around the whole bedroom. One door is a little close to the wall, so it's not gonna get any trim, but the bathroom door is. So, we get all this stuff painted up. Me and Azalea got all the trim painted up. So as soon as this dries, we'll be ready to start putting this in the room and really finishing up the floor and the walls. All right, next day, trim is dry. I'm gonna take it over to the porch now, start taking measurements and putting it in the room. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Being done, Brie. We are. It's super exciting. We're doing four layers. We're dealing with a base that's not flat. So our biggest hurdle is breaching the gap between rock to rock. And you can see over here, we've just about done it. We've got a few more gaps. So if we could span them like that, that'll be interesting to look at. So he's gonna go right there. The back side of this, Brie, I don't know. I guess that's just gonna be brown, huh? Or maybe just stucco. I can hardly wait to get those little trays inside those pots mm -hmm. now and see what that looks like. I'm planning on doing mortar in there and then sliding them in so they'll be in there nice and solid. But if you have other ideas, I'd be open to other ideas because we haven't done it yet. So yes, I think it's unique. It's gonna be fun to see how they turn out. And not many more bottles. We mm -hmm. hopefully will finish the bottle part of it next week. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that oh, goes. I think so. I think we got a real shot of being able to do that. The little soap dishes. Yeah, we'll put the soap dishes in next week as well too. We just want to give it a little bit of time to dry. Got a plan? I got something. I would go with the air compressor and the nail gun, don't I? Oh, yeah. It's looking so good already. Yeah. He needs a little sore. <laughs> yeah, I missed the little knee kicker thing a few times yesterday. 38 three parts. So you're taking your shoes off before you come in on our new carpet? Yeah, we can't get it dirty this, you know, the first day. Yeah, can't get it dirty until after we moved in, right? Exactly. It looks so good in here. It's looking more finished. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Ooh. Now we gotta put that piece in that goes directly above, yeah, <laughs> that part. So Ellie cut us up with some pallets and sand them. That's kind of what my dad actually had done in here. We got a lot done this week. Put the floor in, all the trim down. Next week, hopefully, we'll be hanging lights and moving in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, me either. Uh, it's looking so good. It's a totally different room. It is. That floor was huge eyesore. Mm -hmm. Putting the carpet in really just cleaned it up nicely. Yeah, <laughs> so. super excited for next week too. <laughs> yeah, me too. I can't wait to move in. You're a monkey. <laughs> well, that wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is Team Eugene. <laughs> if you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or many of our other products that we have in our shop, as well as all the wonderful designs, or I say wonderful, but I made them as a little <laughs> self, whatever, but we have a lot of designs over there for you to pick from. Uh, so the link to that will be down in the description. We have 20% off of everything now through Monday. So if you'd like to take advantage of that sale, it's going on right now. We really appreciate you being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Bye. Thank you! This is 
the same color as your jacket. It is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. Also, these designs, they're so in the 90s. I don't know if this is the 90s, but... It sounded good. We don't want the next of the bottles because we just want the main part of the bottle. We don't want it to look like a bottle. Yeah. So then that's why the, that's why we don't do the neck. No necks. No necks. He's like, camera on me, please. Camera on me. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. What would be funny is if you took the plug and you just dangled it. Uh, yeah, I actually, edge. well, the plug I, is a goner. You got your toy. You somehow managed to get, yeah. The blue one. We got orange. orange and yellow one. Add a little here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Those look at those teeth, Eugene. Look at those fangs. Wow. Wow, those are sharp, dude.